So welcome once again to the third in our series of videos for the seasons of Advent rooted in the first reading for the four Sundays of Advent. And just as I welcome you, a reminder that we believe profoundly that the Spirit of God inspired these sacred words and that same Spirit lives in your heart and in my heart. And we just pray that we'd listen to the voice of the Spirit as we resonate and dance with the reading. And just to repeat the little prayer we said the last two times, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, kindle in us the fire of your love. So today's reading comes from the 61st chapter of the prophet Isaiah. It was put together almost certainly after the exile, after 538 BC. But some of the content of the reading clearly was put together during the exile and was incorporated into the final text as we have it. It's part of what are called the suffering servant songs of the prophet Isaiah. We'll be familiar with the fourth song, which is used in the liturgy of Good Friday. And just to be conscious too of the biblical concept of a jubilee year, which is mentioned in the reading, every 50 years, all land was returned to its original owner and those who had got themselves into debt so much so that they became indentured servants were also released from their debt and freed. We would invite you now just to open the text of the reading and to read it and to think about it and to reflect on it, and just to spend as long as you like doing that. And in doing so, you might just pause the video and just resume the video whenever you're ready. So we come back just to make a few observations on the text itself. You'll be aware the first two verses of this, this reading were quoted by Jesus in the synagogue of Nazareth in Luke chapter 4 verses 17 to 19 as a kind of prescription or program for his ministry. And he says, today this text is fulfilled as you listen. This text is fulfilled in the beginning of the public ministry of Christ. And you'll note too that verse 10 was paraphrased by Mary in her Magnificat in chapter one, in Luke chapter one, verse 46. The point, the spirit of God is given to the prophet. The prophet is anointed and sent to bring good news to the poor. The poor in Isaiah being these indentured servants, also sent to bind up hearts that are broken. And then the reading becomes a song of thanksgiving towards the end for the fact that God will make all this happen. For us Christians, this happens in the birth of Jesus Christ. And then it becomes a blessing for all the nations of the earth. And that notion of joy and hope pervades the reading. And that will become the title of the Vatican II document on the role of the church in the modern world, which begins with the lovely sentence, the joys and the hopes, the griefs and anxieties of people of this age, especially those who are poor and in any way afflicted. These are the joys and hopes, the griefs and anxieties of the followers of Jesus Christ. And at the end, we'll invite you to take away a little thought for reflection. We understand that Jesus sees himself as good news for the poor, but have we accepted our own call and responsibility to be good news for the poor too? Please do reflect on those questions at the end of the video. I'd invite you now to join me in the short prayer, which you'll see in the subtitles. And please do pray it with me. Lord God, call us and anoint us to be your presence for the poor, the needy, the sick, the homeless and the voiceless. Your son Jesus showed us the way. In this Advent season, fill us with joy and hope. May we be alert to those around us. May we truly be living good news 
in the world of our time. Amen. So thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again for our fourth and final video. God bless again and thank you.